Good morning, Grace Life. We're continuing this morning in the Psalms with Psalm 12. So let's read that Psalm together as we take a few moments to meditate on God and his sovereignty. Psalm 12, save, O Lord, for the godly one is gone, for the faithful have vanished from among the children of men. Everyone utters lies to his neighbor with flattering lips and a double heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips, the tongue that makes great boasts, those who say, with our tongue we will prevail. Our lips are with us, who is master over us? Because the poor are plundered, because the needy groan, I will now arise, says the Lord. I will place him in the safety for which he longs. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver refined in a furnace on the ground, purified seven times. You, O Lord, will keep them. You will guard us from this generation forever. On every side the wicked prowl, as vileness is exalted among the children of man. The middle of this psalm has a lot of encouragement for us. Um, literally what we're doing right now, taking time out of the morning to read God's word because the words of the Lord are pure. And as the psalmist says, like silver refined in a furnace on the ground. Um, there's no better cure for whatever we're facing than looking into God's word. Um, and that's one of the reasons the psalms end up being a very dear book to a lot of people is because any emotional state you can think of is expressed, um, whether it's extreme gratitude and joyfulness or extreme pain, um, confusion, anger, hurt, um, joy, bliss. There's everything you can imagine. Um, and so this psalm, as David is writing, um, he's concerned with things that are happening around him um, and, and wanting to see God's power displayed through it. Uh, but he realizes that um, in the end, right, that God keeps his promise, he keeps his word, and we can uh, trust in that today. Let us know in the comments uh, which of the promises of God is bringing you comfort, um, whether it be from the Psalms or from somewhere else in the Bible, but just knowing that God's word is um, just the best thing that we can turn to in, in times of need, in times of happiness, whatever it might be. Um, let us know what, what part of God's word is uh, uh, helping you out this morning. Have a great rest of your day.